Are you tired of searching for a good Laravel-based CMS? Laravel Nova wasn't what you hoped it would be? Need an easy way to manage your collections and blueprints? With sleek looking UI and intuitive concepts like collection, fields, and blueprints, Statomic might be the right solution for you. With a freemium version that might suit your need and hefty pro priced version with whopping $259 per project. Statomic is a flat file CMS, meaning that it stores all the data in the file system. Now I have been using Statomic for a while and the CMS has also been around for a long while. The current version is Statomic 3. We are going to explore it and see how it can make our lives easier. So this is their website, kind of funky, and it gives you a glimpse of what do you expect from the CMS. And if I scroll down, uh, basically they are positioning this CMS for all sort of different roles. So it can be used as a writing and publishing platform as well as a suitable solution for the business website. It claims to have a great developer experience as well. And if we scroll down, it gives you a glimpse of what kind of templating language does it have. So Statomic has something called Antler and it's kind of similar to Laravel's Blade, but I guess it's more easier to read. And then they have something called Blueprints and Field Sets. These are basically the structure of your data sets. We'll go through this in more details in our CMS section. And then there's a thriving community of extensions and add-ons which developers have already been developing. All right, so let's get started with the installation. All right, so I'm in their documentation right now and there are many ways to install Statomic in your computer. But in this case, I will follow a quick start guide which will use Composer to install Statomic. Let me copy this command here. I'll paste it in my terminal. And don't worry, I will link this quick start guide in the video description so you can follow along from there. Now it has downloaded all the dependencies. So now we have opened the folder in VS Code. Let's install the dependencies through the composer as well. Composer install. All right, so everything is prepared now. So all we need to do is run PHP Artisan serve and it should create a server here. Okay, let me open this in a browser. So I will paste this URL here. So now, as you can see that it's showing me a static homepage. First, we will explore the backend, see how the data is structured, and then we will come in the front end and see how things are working here as well. All right, so now that we have completed the installation, we will create an admin user to see how things are working in the backend. So let me open my terminal. I will write PHP please to see all the commands available in Statomic. The command we are looking for called make user. So we can say PHP please make user. So email would be admin at admin and name would be admin. Password would be one to six and it will be super user. All right, so it got created now. So the URL and the CP, it should open the backend. So this is the login. So I can say admin. Okay, so now I'm logged in. Let's see how the Statomic backend works. All right, so on the most basic level in Statomic, this is how things are working. So you have collections and these collections can contain entries, which in turn can contain your data as well. Now, how do collections know that how to save the data? Well, for that, you have blueprints and field sets. These are the scale skeleton of your collection which will tell the collection what fields should a entry have. So let's do this in a practice now. So I will create a new collection. In this case I will say it's a news. So now that the collection is created, we need to configure its blueprint and a blueprint is already made. So I will click here and this blueprint contains all these fields here. For example, content, image. I will remove the image here, but I will keep the title and let's add one additional field. 
we will add a text box here and we'll call it location we'll keep rest of the fields as is and i will save it and we'll save the blueprint as well and then i will go to the collection and click on the news so i can create a scaffolding here as well let's create an entry now so i will create an entry so as you can see that these are the fields that were added in the blueprint so they are appearing here uh, let me add news one description and then i will add a date and i will say new york okay let me save this and let me create one more so now that we have created these two entries uh, let me just show you what are the different field types here so again if i click on the news blueprint you can see that there are wide variety of uh, different fields here i think they have such a wide variety that they can cover everything most of the time and if it doesn't then you have different third-party fields as well from the developers so let's go to the front end now and see how things are being rendered so we have this blank page in the home page so if i go to my code uh, there's a home template what i will do is i will paste this here so this is entry template what is doing here it's looping through news collections and within this loop we get the access to the fields that are within the blueprint so in this case there is title and then there's date okay let me save it and then go to the front end and as you can see both of the news items are being rendered here let me see if i can place a break here just to play uh, break it down a bit so i can say break all right so now you can see that the news is being rendered here so this is how you render the items on the front end using antler all right so this has been a brief overview of statomic it's a very vast and full featured cms so if you like that please comment below and also subscribe to my channel as well as this helps me quite a lot and thank you for watching